The Golden State Warriors are in a state of crisis, having lost six of their last seven games, and a significant part of the blame falls on head coach Steve Kerr. While Kerr's tenure with the Warriors has been historically successful, including winning four NBA championships, the current state of the team demands serious scrutiny. From questionable rotations to a lack of offensive creativity, Kerr's decisions have raised doubts about his ability to lead the team moving forward. In this video, we'll explore the main reasons for why Kerr's time as Warriors head coach should come to an end, with particular focus on handling of player rotations, offensive strategy, and overall team dynamics. One of Kerr's most perplexing decisions this season has been his recent choice to bench Draymond Green in favor of Jonathan Kaminga. In my last video, I made the case for why Kaminga should be starting and how that could be a major development in the Warriors' season. I made that statement with the assumption that if it did happen, Kaminga would replace Pajemski in the starting five. For Kaminga to have replaced Green in the starting five is baffling. Let's be very, very clear. Jonathan Kaminga should be starting alongside Draymond Green, not replacing him in the Warriors starting lineup. Kaminga, at 22 years old, has shown flashes of being a versatile forward with the potential to contribute significantly on both ends of the floor. His athleticism and ability to defend multiple positions make him a natural complement to Draymond, who remains the team's top facilitator, defensive anchor, and emotional leader. Replacing Green with Kaminga, as head coach Steve Kerr has done, disrupts the core defensive identity of the Warriors, which has been built around Green's IQ, communication, and leadership. Rather than benching Green in favor of Kaminga, the Warriors should focus on harnessing Kaminga's potential in a starting role, where his speed, transition play, and developing offensive game can be maximized alongside Green's facilitation. With Kaminga in the starting lineup, the Warriors have a dynamic, switchable defense and a solid balance of youth and experience. But Kaminga's growth could be accelerated by playing with Green, who can mentor him and help him refine his decision making and basketball IQ. By starting together, Green and Kaminga can create an optimal blend of leadership, defense, and raw talent that would elevate the Warriors' chances for success this season. Kerr not realizing that and demanding to keep Branson Pajemski in the starting five, which gives the Warriors a much smaller unit with less force up front, is a primary reason for why it's time to move on from Steve. Stephen Curry, the greatest shooter in NBA history, the most transformative player in the game, and one of the five greatest players ever in my opinion, is being mismanaged under Kerr's system. One of the most perplexing aspects of Kerr's coaching has been his tendency to pull Curry in and out of games in short spurts, almost treating him like a role player rather than the superstar that he is. This has thrown off Curry's ability to establish a rhythm, which is essential to his game. Curry thrives when he's allowed to find his flow early and often, getting into a groove where he can dictate the pace of the game and make plays off the dribble. However, Kerr often opts to sub Curry in and out of the game at inconsistent intervals, disrupting his natural flow. This move makes Curry, the two-time MVP and face of the franchise, feel like just another cog in the system, rather than a player who should have the ball in his hands with the game on the line. The result has been a frustrating and disjointed offensive rhythm for the Warriors as a whole, especially in key moments where Curry could have been the difference maker had he been allowed to remain on the floor longer. Another major issue with Kerr's coaching philosophy has been his reluctance to run enough pick and roll plays, an offensive staple that has been successful for every team in the league. The Warriors under Kerr are known for their off-ball motion and positionless style of play, but that system can only go so far, especially when it becomes so predictable. Teams know the Warriors will run a ton of off-ball movement, cutting, and off-ball screens, but they don't emphasize the pick and roll a play that could be incredibly effective for a team with the talent they have. Stephen Curry, who's a lead at being the pick and roll ball handler, has often been left without the proper offensive scheme to unlock his potential. While Curry excels at moving without the ball in his hands and running off screens, often out of the go-to split action play set, Curry's failed to build the offense around consistent pick and roll opportunities with he and the Warriors bigs. The result is an offense that lacks diversity, becomes too predictable, 
and falls flat in critical moments, particularly when opposing teams focus on limiting Curry's off-ball actions. Kerr's refusal to evolve and incorporate the pick and roll more regularly is a significant flaw in his coaching philosophy. The most glaring evidence of Kerr's diminishing effectiveness as head coach is the Warriors' recent slide, having lost six of their last seven games. The team's defense has been porous, their offense sloppy, and Kerr's failure to adjust to the challenges facing the team has been apparent. While individual players like Curry and Green are not exempt from blame, the coaching staff bears ultimate responsibility for the team's performance. Kerr's inability to make timely rotations, implement effective offensive schemes, or manage his superstar players properly has led to this slump. For a team with championship aspirations, this level of underperformance is unacceptable. In many of these losses, Kerr failed to make in-game adjustments, particularly in terms of player minutes and rotations. When the team needed to make a comeback or protect a lead, Kerr's tactical decisions were often questionable. The fact that the Warriors haven't been able to recover from such a poor stretch speaks to a lack of leadership and strategic foresight from the coaching staff. The NBA is constantly evolving with an increasing emphasis on positionless basketball, three-point shooting, and dynamic offensive schemes. While Kerr is known for revolutionizing the game with the Warriors' small ball lineup and reliance on three-pointers, his unwillingness to adapt his strategies as the game changes has become apparent in recent seasons. Opposing teams have figured out how to defend the Warriors' motion offense, and Kerr hasn't been able to adjust accordingly. Kerr has failed to develop younger players like Jonathan Kaminga, Moses Moody, Brandon Pajemski, and Trace Jackson Davis, leaving the team increasingly reliant on aging stars. The Warriors need to evolve their offensive and defensive schemes to remain competitive, but Kerr's reluctance to innovate and his reliance on outdated strategies have left the team stuck in the past. While Kerr deserves credit for what he built, his inability to adapt to the evolving dynamics of the league and his outdated offensive system have contributed to the Warriors' recent struggles tremendously. While Steve Kerr's legacy with the Warriors is undeniable, it is becoming increasingly clear that he may no longer be the right person to lead the team forward. His questionable rotations, failure to optimize Curry's playing time, reluctance to evolve offensively, and inability to adjust to the league's changing landscape have all contributed to the Warriors' recent struggles. The team's championship window is still open, believe it or not, but they need a coach who can get the best out of the talent on the roster and make timely adjustments. The Warriors have the pieces in place, but they need a coach who is willing to evolve and adapt. It might be time for the Golden State Warriors to move on from Steve Kerr and look for new leadership to guide them back to contention. This was your boy D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.